<laughs> well, what's going on, Cardinal Nation? Well, what a game tonight. What an exciting win as we win in this one 7 3 in 10 innings on a walk off grand slam by Paul Goldschmidt winning 7 3 over the Toronto Blue Jays in grand fashion. Goldschmidt walking it off uh, as we had chances to win in the 10th inning uh, as the Blue Jays walked uh, two batters in the 10th inning uh, and yeah so before the game uh, we put Steven Matz on the 15 day IL with shoulder a shoulder injury that forced him to leave Sunday's game against the Pirates when he threw just four pitches. Dylan Carlson also on 10 day IL with a hamstring injury. And Yanir Molina not on the injury list but on the bravement list. Uh, so he'll be uh, not with the team for at least just a few days. Uh, and. Uh, I believe we called back up Matthew Libertor. So, anyway, we would take a 1 0 lead in the bottom of the second. RBI double by Brendan Donovan. That will put us up 1 0 score Nolan Arnado from first base. And, yeah, that will put us up 1 0. Stay that way until the top of the sixth. The Blue Jays. We're tied up 1 1. Solo home run by George Springer, former World Series MVP with the Astros. This is his eighth home run of the season off of Miles Michaelis. So that would give the Blue, or that would rather tie the game up 1 1. And then the Blue Jays would tie it up, or would go up rather 2 to 1, top of the seventh. Bases loaded walk by George Springer as Michaelis would pitch into the seventh but would then uh, allow a single would walk a batter allow a fly out and then hit by pitch so the bases would be loaded and he would be done and it would come Andre Palante and he would walk George Springer and Santiago Espinal with the bases loaded to then put the Blue Jays up 3-1 and they would then have their best hitter, Vladimir Grove Jr. at the point when he would ground out. So that would keep it a two-run lead for the Blue Jays. And we were able to make it a 3-2 to two game off of their starter, Jose Barrios. Solo home run by Juan Yepes. His fourth of the season. This kid has been red hot to start off his major league career. So that would make it 3-2. to two. And then back-to-back -back hits would knock out the starter. And then Harrison Bader would put us, would tie the game up 3-3. Three, three. So it would stay tied. Uh, and, uh, yeah, bottom of the ninth. No one here now would have an RBI, or with a leadoff double, rather. And we would intentionally walk Brendan Donovan to uh, put runners at first and second. Uh, but Corey Dickerson would ground into a double play to send the game to extra innings and the, of course, the runner on second base. Yes, this Cabrera pitching. Uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. would be intentionally walked. And then Bo Bichette would fly out to right and then Teoscar Hernandez would ground out to keep the game tied. So and then the bottom tenth Lars Newbar who we just called up would pinch run at second for Dickerson and Lars would then advance to third on a wild pitch. Bader would strike out Albert Poolholz would pinch hit for Andrew Kisner. He would strike out Tommy Edmund would walk, and then Edmundo Sosa 
would then pinch hit for Nolan Gorman. And he would walk. Blue Jays would bring, bring in a new pitcher. And then Paul Goldschmidt with the bases loaded would hit a walk-off grand slam on a 1-2 uh, count. Uh, the second pitch was called a strike. It really did not look like it was a strike. But regardless, you'll get the win. And what a game this was against a, one of the best teams in baseball with a number of stars in their lineup for the Blue Jays. With Vlad Guerrero Jr., Bo Bichette, and yeah. So this is our first walk-off win of the year. Uh, and yeah, Goldschmidt now has 10 career walk-off hits. Ironically, his uh, last uh, walk-off hit was uh, last year. It was after we had clinched a playoff spot. So that was our last walk-off win. And now this is our first of the season. So what an exciting game. So for the second and final game of the series, Tuesday we'll have Jordan Hicks in the start against Kevin Gosman from Toronto. Uh, Kevin Gosman has just three walks to start his season. It's been outstanding. Three walks to 57 strikeouts, and he's given up just one homer, so he's been great. So, um, yeah. So we'll see what happens Tuesdays till till then. Comics bigger, sing, go cards.